Hi, this is Fraser from FF Art Studio. Welcome back friends to my channel from where we had left behind in the first part of this eye sculpt tutorial which I had shown you. You can check the link above. So we'll be doing the poly painting of this eye in this tutorial. So let's get started. Okay, so first things first. Keep in mind while poly painting your MRGB button should be on and Z add or sub should be off. Okay, next thing we need the color panel. Okay, so from the menu drop down, select the color panel, select the cogwheel and just drag and drop it talking in the left side. Okay, once that's done, next thing is select the eye mesh, select the materials panel and from the material panel we'll be selecting toy plastic material. Make the color white and hit fill object. That will fill the material as well as the color on the eye. Next, keeping the brush same. The stroke can be changed to a drag okay and we'll be playing with alphas so we'll be selecting another alpha which is alpha 6 alpha 14 whichever one you prefer okay we'll change the color to a dark grayish kind of a tone we'll reduce the focal shift and we'll try to get a dark rim of the iris so first we'll be painting the iris so we'll be painting the outer rim of the iris first and then gradually move to the inner part of the eye and the pupil and do some shading on it. Next on, we'll paint the lighter colors and lighter shades on the iris. So we'll be making an eye which is gray in color. Okay, next we'll select another alpha. You can see the alpha I've chosen. This will be like for the muscles of the eye or the ciliary muscles. So I'll be just tweaking out the colors a little bit. We'll change the alpha once more to another floral pattern. Change the color a little bit and changing the focal length and intensity. Try to blend, give that feel of those muscles. Once we achieve that, as you can see, we have lost some information from the rim. So we'll select a ring alpha and we'll try to create that darker ring with a darker color. Uh, next, we'll be moving on to the pupil. So for that, we'll change the material. And we'll change the material from polyplastic to a basic material because we don't want any specular for the pupil. And uh, we'll change the alpha as well to a sharper or upper 14. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So with that then we'll do some shading on the iris. Okay, some dark shades on the upper part and some lighter shades on the lower part. Okay, so for that we'll change some settings. Keep the RG button on and uh, we'll change the stroke menu to free, freehand. Uh, tweak the intensity and get a darker color. So shading the upper part of the eye to create that shadow. Okay, and then we'll make it a little lighter shade and shade the lower part of the iris it's time now to shade the eyeball so with the rgb button on we need only color and uh, change the stroke type to drag rect can keep as alpha 6 which is circular alpha and change the color to a light brownish color and drag from the back of the eye eyeball okay see that it comes down gradually uh, towards the sides. Once it looks good, we'll change the color to a light tomato red kind of a color. Okay, with uh, decreased intensity. Try to get over it and blend it. So gradually we'll try to change the color and bring it lighter and bring it closer to the white part of the eye towards the sides of the eyes. Yeah, that looks good so once that's done it's now time to add a few blood vessels okay so i have a few alphas for the blood vessels so i'll import them go to the alpha panel and hit the import button and select the alpha image so with the alpha selected i'll change the color to a little darkish kind of brick red color so adjust the intensity a little bit if the z add is on we'll see that the deformation takes place okay so keep the intensity is low z intensity low if the z add is on because we don't want it to bump up so much create a variation 
changing the intensities the color also tweak them and friends if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe and hit the bell icon and don't forget to comment if you have any queries please let me know i'll be sharing the link to the vein alphas in the description box below yeah this looks good those subtle variations the veins are done it's now time to add the spec mesh once more so we will append a 3d sphere uh, size it and position it uh, somewhere to the edge of the pupil and the iris and we'll just flatten it a little bit and once that's done you are done with the eye texturing or the poly painting in zbrush not completely realistic and detailed but through poly painting we've achieved a good level of detail thanks for watching